not a whole lot. Oh, 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 guys, I am on a female Io, guys. Look at these eyes. Oh, sweet. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to take her. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, the Florida Keys subspecies of the Io moth is actually very, very cool because it's different colors than the Io moth in the rest of the country. Guys, I've never reared this thing. I've tried to get eggs a few times. I've never been successful. So we're gonna try it this time and see what happens. All right, guys, our Io moth female has finally gave up the ghost and looks like she's done laying eggs. It looks like she gave us over 80 eggs. So we are going to try to raise these uh, on a host plant called Swamp Bay. Even though this is Jamaican dogwood, the leaves that they were laid on, uh, we're gonna try and raise these guys on Swamp Bay, which is a plant that I have right out my front yard. And the mainland version of the Isle Moth, they absolutely love Swamp Bay. So I've raised the mainland version many times on that host plant. I'm sure they'll eat it just fine. So we're gonna wait for these guys to hatch and we'll let you guys know um, when they do and how those caterpillars progress. So we're gonna have a 80 stinging caterpillars coming at us soon, guys, getting ready to get this work done. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you an update on my Io moth eggs. It has officially been 13 days since these eggs were laid. And to be honest, I was a little concerned that they weren't gonna be fertile, but one thing that I noticed when I observe them right now is that they've changed colors. They used to be yellow and the yellow, it seems to be being misplaced, you know, displaced with a more of a white color, which is interesting. Also, what I'm seeing is that the eggs, I, I never even looked at them this up close before, but it looks like the eggs have like a little window in the side. And if you look at that little window, it looks as though you can actually see the developing caterpillar inside. I'm suspecting that these eggs are gonna hatch sometime today, maybe tomorrow. The, the coloration of the egg inside has changed from yellow to more of, a, more of like a whitish tan color. And I think that's the, the caterpillar metabolizing the insides of the egg. So I have a feeling that these eggs are gonna hatch either tonight or tomorrow, and we're gonna have Io moth caterpillars to show you guys very, very soon. So let's cross our fingers and hope that that's what the case is. My Io moths have finally hatched. Check this out, guys. When they hatch, the first thing they do is eat their eggshells. It's a little extra protein before they start their journey. Okay guys, it's been a day or two, almost a day and a half since our Io moth caterpillars have hatched. They are feeding gregariously and quite happily on the leaves of our Sweet Bay, no, this isn't Sweet Bay, Swamp Bay uh, plant. As you can see there, they're feeding there. Um, okay. All right guys, I wanted to show you something real quick about small Io moth caterpillars. Oops. When they decide to move, they actually, one will start to move and it spins a silk pad and the other ones will follow because it takes, it takes a lot of energy to spin a silk pad. And why, why spin your own silk pad when somebody else will do it for you? So the guy in the front, he lays down a little trail of silk and then when he moves, everybody follows. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, you know what's even funnier? Tell me. Wait very closely. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, he's starting to eat. All of his buddies are on the stem. They're finally starting to eat? Oh, they're eating. This is, they're in second instar. That's second instar? Yep. They're in second. 
Couldn't so, be bigger. Yeah, right here on the on the on the plastic, there must have been a leaf butted up against that plastic, and the caterpillars are going to start doing follow the leader thing until he finds some uh, some leaves. So I might use my brush mm -hmm. and brush them back onto a leaf. Moths, man. These are the ones that these are the same ones that you saw at the uh, park in Boca. Yeah. Yours yours were a lot bigger. Oh, I remember that. Well, yeah. How many of them were there on that thing? How many of the caterpillars were there on that? Are you talking to me? Yeah. In Boca, in Boca when you saw those big green caterpillars? That's this is what they look like when they're See the phone? No, they didn't look like that. Yeah, well, that's what they'll. These will turn into. Oh, they're tiny. They're tinier, yeah. Hey guys, it's now July fifteenth, and I these eggs were laid on May fifteenth, so it's two. We're two months in, and now we finally have what appears to be final instar io moth caterpillars from the Florida Keys. Uh, it's been a long time to wait. Um, two months, man. That's a long time. Yeah, guys. So I'm going to just kind of open this up. I'm going to show you guys some of these final instar critters. These spines, uh, these spines on these guys are obviously very, very hurtful and painful if you get stung. I wanted to see if there was any actual difference between the larvae of the key subspecies and the larvae of our mainland subspecies. It looks like they're pretty similar. You know, they have some growing to do yet, but look at those spines, man. Just You just do not want to get whacked by that guy because those are all little hypodermic needles that will mess you up. So they are eating swamp bay. It's a plant that Iomaws love to eat on the mainland. And these are, even though these are keys subspecies, they are polyphagous enough where um, they're eating just about anything that you put in front of them. So we are going to, uh, this, this actual food is actually like five days old. So we're actually going to get into this thing here. We're going to take all the caterpillars off and we're going to, we're going to put all new food in here and see how we're doing. We had at one point about 50 caterpillars. Um, there were 85 eggs that were laid. And so we have to see what we got left in here. Thank you.